The upbeat message from Li Baodong came as relations among negotiators appeared to be turning sour with behind-the-scenes accusations of backtracking on agreements already made. In contrast, the Chinese vice foreign minister has talked of optimism. A much progress has been made on many fronts and no doubt still a number of uh, very tough issues remain to be addressed. For nearly 18 months, the UN's permanent five, China, the US, the UK, France and Russia, plus Germany, have been locked in talks with Iran over its nuclear ambitions, which the Iranians insist are for peaceful purposes only. Huge amounts of effort and political capital invested on both sides. Vienna, it's hoped, the last leg. Everyone hopes the negotiations can be finalized on schedule or maybe within a week. China is playing its part and our contributions are working well. The Chinese vice foreign minister's optimism is shared by some Iranian experts who say these talks are too big to fail, the alternative too grim to countenance. If they need a couple of extra days to get things done in a way that's going to be sustainable, I don't think anybody's going to complain about that either because if it's a matter of war and peace, then take the time that's necessary to get peace done the right way because the alternative to this is so bad that I think cooler heads will prevail in all of the capitals that are negotiating this deal right now. The talks here at the Palais Corberg are likely to miss their deadline. But whether or not there's an element of the tightrope walkers wobble in talk of difficulties, both sides here recognize walking away would have costs and consequences beyond any short-term political gains. An awareness of that will keep negotiators tied to the talks table, but not forever. Richard Bestick, CCTV at the Iran nuclear talks in Vienna.